In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the source rect at time expression to create auto resizing text boxes. So when you change the size of your text, the text box is going to adjust automatically. First, I'm going to add some text. I'll click on T for the type tool. Click, I'm gonna type out random name, grab the selection tool, and go to the align panel and align the text to the center of the composition. I'm also going to make sure that the anchor point is at the center of the text layer. So press Command or Control, double click on the pan behind tool, and now the anchor point is right in the center. Next, I'll create a shape layer, which is going to be the text box. So to create a shape layer, make sure that no layers are selected in the layers panel. I'm going to go up to the shape tool and choose the rectangle tool. I do not want to fill color. So I'm going to click on the word fill and click this first option here for none, then click OK. I do want a stroke, I'll click on the color swatch, I'll pick a new color. We want to create a parametric shape, so make sure that Bezier path is unchecked. Now you can just click and drag out a shape layer. If you just double click on the shape layer tool, that will create or fill your entire composition proportionally with a shape. I'll go down to the Layers panel and twirl open the Shape layer, twirl open Contents, Rectangle 1, then Rectangle Path. If you are not seeing the size position around this property on the Rectangle tool, that means that when you created your shape, you had the Bezier Path checked. So just delete the Shape layer, uncheck Bezier Path, and just draw out another Shape layer. If you want to solo a property, or multiple properties you have selected, and hide everything else, tap the letter S. If I unlink the values for the size property, this first one is going to adjust the width of our text box, and the second one is going to adjust the height. So, because there's two values, we need to separate them in the expression. Press Option or Alt, then click on the stopwatch next to the size property to add an expression. To separate the width and height, we're going to place them in their own variable. A variable is just a bucket where you place values. I'll type W for width, equal sign, space, click on the expression pick whip, drag it to the layer below. Put a period, type out source rect at time, open and close parentheses. I'll tap the right arrow to go outside the parentheses, put a period, then type the word width, end with a semicolon. I'm then going to select this entire variable, press Command or Control C to copy it. I'll hit Enter or Return to go to the next line and paste it Command V. I'm going to change W to an H for height. I'll go to the end and I'm going to change width. You guessed it, to height and a hit. Return a couple times to make a few spaces. Then we just need to combine these two variables together using an array. So I'll press that open and close, square bracket. Then you're just going to put whatever you use for the name of your variables. So in my case, I'll type W comma H. I'll click outside, put another semicolon. Are you ready for the magic? I'm gonna click away and watch what happens. Boom. We now have an auto resizing text box that fits perfectly around the text. Let's add a few finishing touches. First, Let's add a little padding between the text and the text box. So tap the letter E two times to bring up the expression. Go to the very end, but just before the semicolon. So after width, put a plus symbol, then just type in a number of how many pixels you want as a padding. I'm going to put in 100. So with plus 100, I'll press the down arrow to go down to height. I'll do the same, plus 100. Click away. Now we've got some padding. The last thing we're going to change is this layer name. So I'm going to get rid of everything in between the parentheses and type index plus one. I'll do the same on height. And getting rid of everything index plus one by putting index, we're not adding anything. Tied to the name of the layer. So index plus one just means whatever is below the shape layer. That is what you should reference. And if you run into this problem, or when you increase or decrease the font size, the alignment is off, there's an easy fix. Go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for Anchor Point. 
you will see lock anchor point, drag it onto the shape layer, and to the text layer, problem will be solved. Want to add some more text? No problem. Just start typing, your text box will automatically adjust. And that is the source rect at time expression in After Effects.